Oh, welcome. In this video, I want to show you a little bit about how Adobe Acrobat gives you control over the different pages in your document. And you can see here, I've got just a simple PDF document created and open in Acrobat. It actually has seven pages inside of it. And these tools right here are actually your page navigation aids. And you can use these arrows to very quickly scroll through a document if you wanted to. You can also type in the number of a page right here. So I've got very, a very, if I have a very long document, I can just type in the page number that I want to jump to. For instance, here, if I just type 5 and press Enter, it's going to jump me to that page. The keyboard shortcuts that you may be used to working with inside of Microsoft Word, such as Control Home to move to the top of a document, and Control Enter to move to the bottom of a document, as well as the Page Up and Page Down commands, also work in Acrobat. I'm going to go ahead and do Control Home there to bring me to the top of my document. But what I really want to show you today are some of the tools that are available for modifying the pages actually in your PDF document. And if we come here to the document menu, I can point your attention to these commands here, which are the commands that we're going to be looking at. Commands to insert, extract, replace, delete, or split entire PDF documents. You can see here my first option, Insert Pages, is going to allow me to insert a page into my PDF document either from the clipboard or more likely from a file. Now this file could be either another PDF document or it could possibly be a Word document or something like that. Let's go ahead and try that. I'm going to go ahead and click on From File there and you can see the Insert dialog box appears. I'm going to go ahead and go to my desktop right here and you can see I've actually got chapter 2 here of this document and what I want to do is I want to insert this document make it a part of the other PDF document. So I'll go ahead and select that and then go ahead and click select. I could have also double clicked on it and now Acrobat is going to ask how it should insert this document and you've got a choice here to insert it before or after either the first, last, or a particular page. Well in this case, since this is chapter 2, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I want to insert this after the last page in the document. And then I'm going to go ahead and click OK there. And you're going to see my document is now changed. I used to have 7 pages. I now have 11 pages in my document. And if I go ahead and scroll down a little bit further, there's page six, there's page seven. This was the last page in our sample doc, in our first sample document. And there's chapter two. Now, one thing you're going to notice is that, first of all, the first document here actually has some page numbering on it. But the second document that I inserted does not have page numbering inside of it. And also, if I scroll up here to the top, my table of contents hasn't adjusted to um, reflect the new content. So my suggestion would be, if you've got a very long document, and if you're working with page numbers, indexes, or tables of contents, or some footnote and endnoting systems, you're going to want to maybe merge those documents inside of Microsoft Word, and then convert them into the PDF because we won't be able to, let's say, update this table of contents here based on the new material. You would have to do that inside of Microsoft Word. So what we might want to go ahead and do is just actually remove this document or this first page altogether. And if I want to do that, I'm again, I'm going to go to the document menu here and I'm going to say delete pages. And it's going to ask me which pages in the document that I want or I want to delete. And here it's saying from page one to page one. So it's only going to delete one page in the document. But you can set up any range of pages you want here. So I'm just going to delete page one and then click OK. And it's going to ask me, am I sure? Yes, I am. So I'll click yes. And you're going to see that page has been um, deleted. If I go to the edit menu right now, you're going to see the undo command you're going to notice that it's grayed out. You can't actually undo deleting a page um, when you're in Acrobat. So make sure that's exactly what you want um, to do before you do it.
A command that's related to this is actually the extract pages button. And let's say we wanted to extract pages 8 to 10. So we want to grab those three pages, pages 8, 9, and 10. To do that, I can go to the document menu and ex select extract pages. When I do that, again, it's going to ask me the range of pages that I want. I'm going to go ahead and select 8 to 10 there. And then I have to choose how I'm going to extract them and deal with the pages. I can either delete the pages out of it after extracting, and that's actually going to do exactly the same thing as the delete command did, or, and this is where this command becomes valuable, I can extract the pages as separate files. So if I selected this and clicked OK, it's going to actually ask me where to put those files. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my name right there. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and click on desktop and do new folder. And I'm just going to say extracted. Or, um, extracted pages here. PDF. So we'll go ahead and select that and click OK. And now those pages have been extracted into that folder. And if I go ahead and double click on this and bring up the window for that folder, you're going to see there are the three pages that I extracted. If you wanted to, at this point, you could, you, you could use Adobe Acrobat to recombine these all into a single document at this point. So we've seen in this video so far how to use the Documents menu and how to insert, extract, and delete pages. Replace pages will work much like the insert and delete options will, only it will update certain pages in your document. And that might be a better thing to think of this command as, as the updated, uh, or as the update pages tool. For example, earlier we inserted the second chapter into this document. If a week from now the author of the original document makes some changes, we might want to get that new version of the document and then use the document um, replace pages option to replace the current pages in this document with the new pages um, that we've been given. And finally, there's a split document command right here. And this can be used simply to split a single PDF document into two or more individual PDF documents. So for example, let's say you've got a 30 page report in Acrobat and you want to extract a certain um, um, half of that report um, to, for something and the other um, for something else, you could use the split command here to break a single PDF document into uh, two pieces. And then finally, you actually have the rotate pages command here. If when you import or save your document as PDF, if the pages don't have the correct orientation, you can use that rotate page um, command, change the orientation of the page from portrait to landscape. For example, I'll go ahead and scroll down here, and here's the second page in my document. And I'm going to go ahead and go to Document and say Rotate Pages. And I choose the direction that I want to rotate them. I'm going to say this should be rotated clockwise 90 degrees. And I choose the range of pages that I want to um, rotate. You can also choose to rotate either the odd or the even pages or both by selecting this right here. And that, more often than not, is going to be helpful when you have, um, when you're dealing with a book or some sort of bound um, um, material. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK at this point, and you're going to see that the second page has been rotated so that it's now oriented landscape as opposed to portrait. Well, I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.